Our parents did not even expect a twin. Are their parents raccoons? What's going on with their faces? Welcome back to another True Story Animation, where today we'll be reacting to Maybe I'm Luckier Than My Sister. This one caught my eye because I'm pretty sure this story is about conjoined twins. How can one of their lives be better than the other when they're stuck together? I am utterly confused. So we're just gonna have to watch it to find out. Anyway guys, before this video starts, I just wanna ask you to turn notifications on for the channel, hit the notification bell, and become part of the Yam Fam. Also, Make sure to leave a like on the video, otherwise when you wake up tomorrow, you'll, you'll be, be conjoined, conjoined to your worst enemy. <laughs> Let's get into the story. Headset. On. Let's conjoin with our twin sister. Or maybe not, that would be terrible. Hi guys, life has always been full of surprises. It gives us so much unpredictability and coincidence but then can also suddenly take them away without warning. That is very true. Life can be crazy and unpredictable, but I guess that's the fun of it. Life would be very boring if everything was just the same, day in and day out. Person who seems to be forever attached to us can literally leave us in the future and we cannot do anything to stop that from happening. Is she saying her conjoined sister died? Or maybe she means something else. Metaphors. There are some thoughts of mine about my own life, which was unusual since birth till today. Let me tell you all about it now. Please do, we're all waiting. I'm Bianca, 29 years old from Minnesota, USA. And right next to me is my sister, Emily. I love how Bianca is doing an intro to the video while her sister is just fast asleep. Probably doesn't even know that this is happening. Then again, this is a cartoon. It's not real life. I'm looking into these things way too deep. Also 29 years old, who shares a lot in common with me because obviously we are conjoined twins. I know I shouldn't be looking at this, but do they really have three? I'm just so curious. <laughs> Shh, don't make noise. My sister is sleeping. Please listen to our story quietly. I promise that I will bring a lot of motivation for you. She's telling me to listen to this story quietly, but that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm here to make comments about your life. 29 years ago, when Emily and I were about to be born, our parents did not even expect a twin. Are their parents raccoons? What's going on with their faces? Or are they bandits? Let alone conjoined twins. My mother did not go to prenatal care regularly, so our birth was a big surprise for not only the family, the doctors, but also the public. Dad did not look impressed. Is he okay? Then again, if I gave birth to a baby that was connected to another baby, I'd probably pull that face too. The doctors were worried that we could not survive even the first night. Oh, but they're kind of cute though. Look at them. But we have proven the opposite. After that, our parents were faced with a difficult decision of whether to carry out surgery to separate us. How can they separate them? Their body is literally connected. They'd have one leg each or something. One arm each. I don't know how that would work. Due to limited medical advances at the time, our parents worried that one or even both of us might not be able to survive the surgery. And so they decided not to do it. Therefore, Emily and I have been living together like this for 29 years straight. See, if you were to cut them down the middle, I think that would be a huge mistake. I don't even know if they'd be able to survive that. But I'm no medical expert. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just know they'd have one of everything. One arm, one leg. We share a single body, but have separate head and neck. Our breasts are of course wider than normal people with two separate hearts. We have two arms and two legs. And obviously, we have to depend on each other to survive. Oh my gosh, they have four lungs, but just one stomach. See, I really don't know if you could cut them apart. It's a good job they left them, you know, as they came. So we learn to agree on how each person controls one side of the body in our daily activities. I always wondered about this. I'm gonna guess that it's different for each set of conjoined twins, but I was always curious to how it worked. Who controls what and how controls where? The task of separate controlling our bodies sounds easy but it is very difficult in reality I could not imagine having that much level of teamwork with someone else to be able to control a body together crazy you go girls you're managing to do it I'm proud of you with years of practice we have perfected our teamwork skills we can run swim bike and even drive on our 16th birthday we passed the driving test 
with both of us behind the wheel. What if one of them commits a driving felony? Who gets done and how do they punish them? Because the other one would be completely innocent. Huh. I do wonder about these things sometimes. And then I think, why am I wondering about that? I <laughs> don't need to know. Emily controlled the devices on the right of the driver's seat while I managed those on the left. Together we controlled the steering wheel. We did a great job. But trust me, we are two completely different people. Just because we have to do everything together doesn't necessarily mean we agree on everything. That must be so annoying. Can you imagine having to make decisions daily together? You're not always gonna agree on everything. Like, oh, I just wanna go take a shower right now. And the other half of you is like, no, I really don't wanna get in the shower. I'd hate that. Despite sharing the same body, we have grown to be ambitious and have two separate souls. I wasn't expecting to see the souls coming out of their body. What the heck is happening right now? Emily is more stubborn than me. She likes to eat a lot of meat, while I tend to be vegetarian. This is probably a forecast for Emily's future health. We share the dream of being a teacher, and we achieve that by graduating from Bethel University with a major in education and starting a teaching career. You go, girls. You go. We are elementary school teachers in the U.S. right now but we only get a salary for one person. Because we have a unique personality and unique learning experiences, we can teach in two different ways. One can teach and the other can follow and answer questions. We are proud to be able to do more than one person. They must give a higher level of education than any other teacher possible because there's two brains working on this. That is pretty cool. At first, everyone was concerned that conjoined twins like us would be laughed at by the children. But quite the opposite, we naturally became the inspiration for the children. We are like a constant reminder of what our small students can achieve despite adversity. That's pretty cool. I like how they're showing that it's possible to do anything if you just put your mind to it. We have dreamed of launching a reality TV show to inspire people, especially children from all over the world, of their ability to go beyond their limits. We all dreamed of a future of traveling everywhere to give speeches and motivate people. But one of us, unfortunately, had to stop. And that person is Emily. Oh my gosh, the Grim Reaper is here. Is she about to die? What happens if she dies? Oh no. Yes, I am telling you this story hurriedly before being taken to the operating room for the torn surgery to leave Emily. My poor sister was unlucky to not have a healthy heart like me. In the past year, she has been suffering from heart attacks and things quickly deteriorated. We had to cancel all teaching and other daily schedules because Emily got exhausted quickly. That is crazy. What the heck? I didn't realize that one of them could have a health issue that the other one didn't experience. That's crazy. Oh no. Half of our body could not move normally because Emily was not alert enough to control it. She and I had to stay in the hospital bed all the time. The doctor said that because of the nature of conjoined twins, it seems that I have received better genes while Emily was not so lucky. Okay, now I understand the title of the video. Maybe I'm luckier than my twin sister because she got the good genes. They warned us about the risk of death of both bodies when one body dies. We broke down when hearing so and did not want to discuss that bad possibility further. However, Emily's condition quickly got so much worse her heart couldn't resist any longer. Oh no, Emily, please don't die. This is gonna make me sad. Emily had an overwhelming heart attack this morning and left me behind. She died. Oh gosh, now what happens? Yes, that is exactly why my dear Emily is sleeping. She fell into a deep sleep leaving me lonely after 29 years of attachment. She wasn't asleep at the beginning. She was dead this entire time. She's been dead. I thought she was sleeping. Oh no. We had been soon hospitalized and mentally prepared for this worst situation. Yet it was still really heartbreaking to me. I cried a lot, but I'm grateful to be able to be with her at the last moment. The best doctors in the state with the latest machines and medicine could not save Emily. And now, they predict that the death of Emily's conjoined body will cause blood loss in the living twin, which is me. Oh gosh, I feel so bad for her. Not only has she had to watch her sister pass away, but now she might pass away too. Jeez, that is sad. I only have a few hours to be saved with a major operation. That was why we had to be in the hospital before Emily died, so the surgeons would be ready to handle the critical situation. 
They are coming to take me away, guys. Separation surgeries usually take more than 10 hours. But the possibility of success is not guaranteed. I am so curious how they're gonna remove Emily from Bianca's body. This is Bianca's. <laughs> Bonkers and Bianca. What am I on about? I should just stop. I'm sorry, this is meant to be a sad moment. Because sepsis can occur when an infection from Emily's deceased twin body overwhelms my system, leading to organ failure. I know all of those facts really well, but still agreed to undergo this surgery, all because of my promise to Emily. Well, you may as well try to survive. Otherwise, you're just gonna die. What's the good in that? I promised her that I would continue to live. Continue to nurture our dream of inspiring the whole world after her death. Is she on a show with vampires? Who is this guy? Why is he blue? I will take over the teaching tasks of both of us, like we used to do together. Oh, okay, so from this vision of her in the future, it looks like she does have one arm and one leg. See, I did wonder about that. Now, is she going to survive? I will also take care of my parents for Emily. I did not allow myself to give up, but had to try twice as much for my beloved Emily. My Emily is sleeping peacefully, isn't she? Eternal sleep. I'll find her in the afterlife when I die to continue being your perfect half. This is sad. Oh, she's speaking about how when she dies, she's gonna meet her again. Oh, my heart. But not yet. I still have a promise to keep with my twin sister. Please pray for me. Goodbye and I look forward to seeing you after the surgery, if it succeeds. For now, I have to go. Okay, wow. I have learned something new about conjoined twins today. I hope you did too. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch another one, click here and let's go watch it together.